This is your three-minute radiation fallout forecast for Wednesday, April 18, 2012, in Canada. Radar imagery from Environment Canada shows scattered light rain across southern BC and southern Alberta, with more moderate rainfall occurring from Sudbury through Ottawa and southern Ontario. Jet stream and tropospheric convection places Sudbury through Ottawa at the highest risk of potential fallout as well as coastal BC. This will move into the province of Quebec on Thursday. In the U.S. Radar from Weather Underground shows scattered precipitation of rain and snow occurring in the northwest states of Washington, Idaho, Montana, Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado, as well as rain in northern Michigan and from Florida up the east coast through Massachusetts. Jet stream overlay as well as tropospheric convection places all areas at high risk, including the southernmost regions of the Florida Keys. In Europe, radar imagery from Meteo France shows heavy rain from a low pressure system centered over the UK. This may bring fallout conditions not only from Fukushima, but from reactor problems in France as well to the coastal regions of the North Sea, including Belgium, the Netherlands, Denmark, Poland, and Scandinavia. Methane gas continues to leak from a well in the North Sea, which will most likely be brought by prevailing winds to the northern UK. The coastal regions of the Mediterranean Sea should also be careful to avoid precipitation. Nuke Report at Susquehanna, Pennsylvania, Unit 2's secondary containment was affected by a violation of Unit 1's containment integrity during an outage. This is considered a loss of the entire safety function and requires an 8-hour report per NRC guidelines. Please contact your local news affiliate to cover this story. In Las Vegas, Nevada, radioactive material was detected in a load of scrap metal. A recycling center has been enlisted for proper disposal. And at the U of M campus in Michigan, a radioactive device was extracted from a scrap metal dumpster at the campus heating and cooling plant. Radiation levels were 35% above normal background. Although hazmat crews responded to the event, the dumpster was returned to its original location even though it is still measuring radioactivity, as it was decided that it did not present an imminent risk to public health. You may read more about this event at our SOE EDIS on the web or follow the link at FukushimaFacts.com. Resources used for today's forecast include the University of Utah Tropospheric Convection Simulator, CRWS Jet Stream Analysis, NCAR Precipitation Forecasts, and Satellite 24 at Meteo France. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.